So I got this call from uh, Daryl the other day, and he says, uh, you need to bring your big detector. Bring that detector that goes deep and come on out here. I think we found something interesting. If you've seen the other videos prior to this here where they discovered that hole, I'll leave you a link down below in the descriptions of the first video. They, there was this hole they discovered. We did a bunch of tests on it. Just a hole out in the middle of nowhere. Wonder what the hell is this hole doing out here in the middle of nowhere? So we all just sit here and stare at this hole in the ground. Wonder what the hell this is. So we did some testing on it. Okay. Okay, here we go. There's a hole right there. And it keeps on going. Wow. Okay. So you know it's more than four feet deep then. Yeah. Yeah. Well, see, I'm. Wow. For perspective, I'm six five. That might be a five foot stick, huh? It could be. Wow, that's. And so then we ran a tape measure down there to see how deep it was. <laughs> There's a lip. So you gotta go past the lip. <laughs> Holy craps. Let me see if I can find another lip. I think that's the depth right there. What does that say? That's it. 94 inches. 94 inches. How many feet is 94 inches? feet deep then that's pretty deep for being a hole in the ground that's pretty deep yeah. well, that looks like Crete that is one weird ass thing so you notice this cut out over here then right next to a wash is this the entrance to a mine or the entrance to the cavern Looks like they've kind of built up in there. All right, for the hell of it, let's put a little thermal imaging camera down in there, see if it tells us anything at all. But yeah, you can see it's got light down in there or some type of a, uh, where it's, uh, it's not dark like it is, like be right there where it's just nice and dark. So that means it's uh, getting some type of a heat source from way down in there or light from someplace else, or it's going somewhere else. They were just wondering about the heat, and you can see the temperatures. We're here on the surface, it's like 41 degrees. That's pretty cold, 41 degrees. But then when you get down in there, that's saying that is uh, 70, 74 degrees down in the bottom down there. So that's pretty warm down in there. Maybe they're, uh, Oh, crap! Get out of here! <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, some hand comes sticking up out of here. Oh, we couldn't see down there. Well, we found a the hand that, uh, that would have been It's a perfect weird. match. It has to be. Yeah, that went there once upon a time. So that's the old sure. magnet test ain't going to work. And then we did a follow-up so video on that. Hole, and this is the camera, and we'll slowly just start feeding this camera down in there, like so, and we'll see what we get. to see insects. Oh, oh, don't they? they just threw all their jewels in here? <laughs> I'm getting blues, yellows, green. Anyway, so I guess they did some digging out there around, but 
they may have discovered something very interesting. So I got my big detector, and we're going to go out there and see what they have done now. <laughs> yeah, oh, my goodness. I can't wait here for this. Here we are back out here in this uh, mystery hole area, yeah. Daryl and Robert. So I got to ask you guys, whatever possessed you to come way out here? We're several miles off the highway to come clear out here to walk around to find this hole in this ground. We didn't know we were going to find all these. We are just out exploring. But so why clear out here? What was you exploring for? For prospecting. Oh, oh, you're prospecting. Prospecting. We always prospect. <laughs> we don't know what the land looks like until we're out here. Okay? The foothills, the foothills along here. They, they draw us in. But what was it that you said you said you wanted to show me? You did something. Well. You did something. I know you did something. Well, you're going to have to uh, get ready to go. Okay. Get your little camera. <laughs> Lead the way. <laughs> okay, go. No, you you know where it is. It's right there. <laughs> Holy Hannah. Holy crap. What the? What the? <laughs> you guys have been busy. <laughs> you guys have been busy. What the hell did you do? Does it keep going? Yeah, it keeps going. Let me ask you a question. What are you doing with that duct tape and that metal pole? Well, when Robert finally got that thing out of there, we had to use the truck to kind of jimmy it. We did the uh, the cowboy uh, winching, uh, winch. old, old yeah. boy <laughs> way. Yeah, country boy way. Anyways, but then he got it fluctuating back and forth, and finally he got it so he could pull it up. Anyway, so <clears throat> and then after that, he said, "I'm done. I'm I'm all done with this fucking pole." Oh, sorry, <laughs> you you have to. Anyways. So, I got to think about, I thought, well, he's done, but I'm not. Anyways, so, if there is a cavity down here, okay, and you've got this camera that's kind of on this wire and you can't really guide it and everything, I thought maybe we could uh, take your wire tape it up to about here to where the camera is, stick it down in the hole and see if there was an opening down there. Oh, an opening. An opening because, Ooh. because we dumped uh, five gallons of water down this thing. Yeah. And there's no water in there now. Oh, so it's evaporating somewhere. So it's gone down. Ooh. Cool. Dramatically. <laughs> <laughs> Dramatically. Okay, now, this is the theory that I have, okay, after thinking about this. That's an air vent, okay? He, whoever put this in, had to back up a drilling rig and drill this, okay? He never dug all this stuff. He had to drill it, and then he had to put this pipe down there to make a vent. Okay, which means that there is another opening over here someplace. And it's a metal door. That's oh. why I, I asked you to bring a detector. Ooh, the metal door. Ooh. Yeah, so there's a metal door someplace between here and over by the can field. All right. Anyways, that's my theory. You're clear down in there. So you dug all this out. Yes. Well, Robert you did, are energetic. Yeah. Robert did a lot of it. He did 60, 70% of it, and I helped. Wow. Yeah, I put a little piece of tape. I put it on uh, some dental floss. I put it down the hole uh, to find out uh, if there was any air uh, going through the what we thought is the pipe is a vent. And it was doing a draw 
okay, from the air circulating downwards and it was drawing into uh, somewhere where I don't know. And that's what we're trying to find out. Anyways, and it, and there's the hole. And it, uh, we're looking at put that metal rod down there and that went down another four feet down. So that's been filled in and it goes down another four feet. Yeah. Wow. Three and a half, four feet. Right there. So you got another, uh, I don't have the tape measure, but you know. It kept going, so we need a post hole digger. We need a post this hole digger. This is the right? pipe that was down in there. So that was flat once upon a time, and now, well, somebody's done a lot of digging. <laughs> somebody's done a lot of digging. Go to the first video. Yeah, a lot of dirt. How long? How long did it take you to dig all that out? Five days. Five days. <laughs> Five days. You think there's a metal door someplace over there somewhere? Yeah. So I'm going to break out the heavy-duty detector, and then we're going to scour the area and see if we pick up anything. Yeah, and that metal door probably should be about two to three feet deep. Okay, cool. So, so. All right, we'll start with the 6000, the GPX 6000, and then if I have to, I'll go to the GPZ 7000 with the big-ass coral on it. But we'll start with the 6000 first. Been a door is turning out just to be some kings. Gave a big signal. That was very interesting though. They, why'd they bury the cans though? That's what they did. They buried their cans. And their biscuit cans too. Uh, the church keys, but they're but they're biscuits and they are an army rationed. I ain't tell right there. It says Army rations. You, you can't see it all, but Army. Interesting. So you got to wonder why they buried their cans for. Yeah. But these are Army rationings, and there's church keys on there. Not sure when these were issued, but that would be a telltale sign when these were all put in here. I have to research that. Right, Dale's saying he's found something over here. I gotta come over here now. Oh, let's see what's going on over here. Uh, what's happening? See, we got this wheel. Oh, indent? Indent? Yeah. Yeah, it's probably junk. Getting an overload, it's big, it's pretty big, whatever it is. So this hole remains a mystery, but it does keep going down there. So you got to get post hole digger or shop vac or something to dig down. It goes down at least another three and a half, four feet down. So this mystery is going to continue. But all this digging, I got to shred this jacket. Oh. Time to go for a walk. Over there and I'll show you this uh, marker over here. Robert has something interesting there. And wow. it does say Koch, which uh, the only Koch I know is uh, New York City. Patent number. Oh, it's got a patent number uh, too. Looks like 3183566. Wow, you can read all that. Cool. So, Maybe uh, that, that might be part of the. Uh, vacuum cleaner <laughs> <laughs> so me and robert's going to walk over here we'll look at this marker and then we're going to see if we can find the other corner markers because that's a very interesting marker so let's go check that out you just doing some detecting around here yeah finding finding some trash are you hey all right so we're walking over towards this marker here over here someplace here's these uh, desert trumpets it's kind of old and dead but Desert trumpet plants. That means there's mineralization here, doesn't it? So that could be gold. That marker is right there. West corner, 
witness corner. Witness corner. It probably is. Because now that I see it, it makes more sense that that is witness corner, south corner, 104. That could be. That makes more. That makes more sense. Um, you can't quite make out the. If that's a line there, yeah. That's a line there, and that but makes. There is a dot, meaning these are two dot. separate things. Yeah. Wow, witness corner, south corner. That could be. So we got to start walking in the north direction. So we determined if that was south, we're going to walk in a north direction to see if we can find a north corner of that. That'll give us an indication if that is actually a miner's marker or maybe something else. But of course, you know, we're going to run into these big ditches and crap along the way too. It's a pretty big desert to walk around to try to find something. <sighs> Well, that's a prospect. They definitely took something out of here. They definitely took something out of right here. There's this pile of rocks here. There's been a marker, a claim marker for that prospect right there, too. Well, here's some cans. Oh, they do have the solder lid on the top. That's where they punched them. So it was some type of liquid can, probably. Like uh, I punched it right through there. A few cans around here. Oh, there's cans all around here. Cans all around here. Well, so we walked 2,600 feet. Probably to be more exact, 2,640 feet in a north line. Best we could to go north. We didn't find no other marker. So we moved over just a little bit and now we're walking back towards that original marker. We're not seeing anything else. No other signs of no other markers nowhere. You gotta pick your ways in between these. How to get out of here. Oh, well, there's a little road right there. So Robert found something over there. Uh, probably. Does it have the lid? Yeah. And it just, uh, over time, the claim papers just... Took off? Got deteriorated. Oh, it's probably a pulse for it. that. Because it has the piece of wood in it. Had to have gone somewhere. Yeah. Part of his claim out here. Oh, and here we are, back at the original spot on this marker. Don't know what that means. Don't know what it means. Strange. Well, so we went north, so we know, or at least we didn't come across another marker up there someplace. We didn't Guess we that. could go east. South, west. Uh, I'm tired of walking for now. Well, I'm not sure what that means or which direction to go. So I think I'll walk back over to the mystery hole. Man, my feet are killing me. Whew. And uh, Robert is out there someplace walking around still. There's a big desert out there. Well, this was one of the trash dumps. But you can tell this isn't old. This was more likely from the 60s, maybe. But somebody did definitely stayed here. More likely right there up on more top. More likely they stayed right here on top. And then they ate, and then they just threw their cans overboard. Over the Some side. Over. Let's go check out that hole again. So back on the mystery hole. This was the can that was on the very top. <laughs> now, the reason we didn't think it was had anything to do with the well or anything, there was nothing else stuck in there, no pipe or nothing, because this had that lip on it that would open and close. That's why we thought it had something to do with a vent shaft or something, because of uh, having this type of a lid on it. 
But as you can see, they dug that all out. But uh, you can see how the tape's going down, though. It just keeps going down. Uh, so we got to get the, all that dirt out of there until we hit bottom. Maybe it's a bank or a vault. Don't know what's down there. But it's quite deep. This is what they do after they go walking forever and dig for a long time. Then they got to sit down, have a beer and a sandwich. That's right. Living the life. They're just out here living the life. And this would have been your property. So what do you think then it was? What do you think that hole is? Was? I still think it's a vent. A vent? Okay, that's your assessment. That's Robert? That's my assessment. I haven't found the... Uh... The entrance to it yet but all i know is that it's a lot of work because <laughs> you because you dug a lot of it it's a lot of work that's all i know well so i guess this mystery hole which isn't a hole anymore it's going to have to be left alone now until we can get us a post hole digger and we'll get us a vacuum and we'll continue on down there and we'll see what we find if there is an air shaft a vent maybe it goes someplace who well, I guess where? this adventure will just have to continue. So uh, I want to thank you guys coming along and sharing on this adventure. Please like, share, subscribe. If you're one of my subscribers, I want to thank you guys. If not, I hope you consider subscribing to the channel. Get out there. Remember, life is an adventure. So thanks for coming along, everybody. And until our paths cross again, thanks for watching. <laughs>